All right, you guys, uh, starting the newest vlog. Uh, I don't really know what number I'm at, so just trying my best to make them. Um, hopefully, if you're seeing this, the last one made it out. I figured the best way to start this vlog off is with my workout. Uh, I'm on my last set of my workout. Um, I'm about 49 minutes in. I started off with a two mile run, so got the run in, got the heart rate up, and then now we're gonna hit some weights and get some exercise going. But uh, yeah, I'm, the, probably the biggest thing uh, with the COVID, uh, it, it got in my head a little bit and it kind of made me think it was okay to quit. And that's that played out in the race last weekend. So I'm gonna hope I can adjust that during the week and then get out there uh, this weekend out at Pea Ridge for the mini East race and really put it down. I uh, wanna put, uh, want to put a good run under my belt before we get back to NCC racing, which has also struggled um, just because I haven't been prepared. So uh, here we are. I'm going to use these vlogs to keep me accountable and try to keep me prepared. I've been quitting on my workouts and I've been quitting on my diet and uh, it, it played out. You know, last weekend I was a top 10 contender. I was, uh, you know, running really good, but I was disciplined. And this year that struggled and I've seen it play into my racing and I want to change that. So I'm going to use this uh, vlog here to keep me accountable. So I hope you guys are watching. So I don't have much room in my shop right now, but uh, we're making it work. We're getting the, the workout in. I'm, you know, a little cluttered with all the bikes and the pit bikes and the Harley and uh, truck my dad's working on and Jeffrey's pit bike that's all dirty, dropping sand all over my floor into the dirt causing mud so yeah thanks jeffrey <laughs> uh but yeah here we are we're getting the workout in um my first uh what i'm doing between each set is i'm trying to get some jump rope in here to keep that heart rate up uh trying to keep it above 150 the whole time i'm sitting at 92 right now excited to set up my vlog here but uh yeah we're gonna get a quick jump rope and then move on So we're kind of doing a leg workout today. Um, I've ignored my legs lately, so I've done a lot of chest, but not enough legs. And I noticed that on the bike, especially with gripping the bike. And I wasn't very comfortable standing up as much as I need to. So uh, we're gonna hit some balance board. Got done with the jump rope, time for the balance board. So done with that. Time to jump rope. All right, so that was a uh, jump rope. Gonna get down, uh, do some side planks, plank, and then uh, uh, something twist. Call them twist. We'll call them ab twist. No word. Six thirty, six twenty-five. I uh, just got home from work. I uh, get off five thirty. Made it home as quick as I could, and then uh, it was a beautiful day out. So we got some rain last night. Beautiful day, sunshine today. So I'm going to get a quick stretch going, and then try to hop on the bike and get some laps in. Try to put in an hour and a half moto if I have time. I hope I can beat the sun sunset. So put an hour and a half moto and get some good seat time in on this thing.
coffee here. Delicious uh, black rifle coffee. Here is our line to the coffee place. What are you gonna get, baby? Something we with actual flavor. <laughs> showed up to the track gonna go get uh, the pit location set up it's a little sunny out so I'm gonna go I didn't know your fly was down that's not my problem uh, so we're gonna go set up the pit stop and then get some stretching in and get ready to go racing What are you riding on today? Uh, we're going to do 12 and a half in the front. Uh, it's kind of like pit sleds, so I'm not running bibs this year because I don't have the time for it. Tubing it. So. This one's going to be upside down. I don't know why. It's fine. I'll flip it in the video. So, do all my work with some good old Mac tools. 
Mike, he's the man. I spent a lot of money on his truck, so he hooks me up. Drop something. And then this is the favorite tire that I run. This is a Parker, a uh, Kenda Parker. And look at Chunky. It is a Chunky boy. And I run about 8 PSI in it. It's pretty low but it feels really good so I'm gonna put one more pump in there to get that up to eight and this tire seen a lot of races and it still looks great so that's why I run it it's an affordable tire to run so you don't have to replace them all the time and it hooks up great so eight psi there we go You think I can make it? I don't think you got it. Oh, that was a good shot. Should have put money on that. That was a good shot. <laughs> They're tearing the tear offs. Well, my tear off clip broke. Oh. I was wondering why that happened when I was riding at the house. It did something weird. But still good tear off, so I'm just gonna run it. You running those ones? Uh, you I'm gonna, don't. I'm gonna run the pan ones. They still have a full set of tear-offs on them. So dusty last weekend that we didn't run any tear-offs, so or we didn't rip any tear-offs. So they were all ready to go. I like that feeling. Okay. We already got our straws. I know we did good. Um Close. if we hit. I'm just gonna keep this whole bag as we here. So if I ask for spare gloves, give me these. I shouldn't need them. Though. That's only if I like get in the mud that I need new gloves. So we got some time before the race. I don't have my watch on me. Uh, I think we got like an hour and a half. Twelve. Hour and a half before the race. So I actually have some time to do some stretching this weekend, which is awesome because I'm super stiff from working all week. So I'm gonna get some stretching in, and then uh, we're gonna start getting ready to line up.